Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Live to 110 podcast. My name is Wendy Myers. You can find me at live to 110.com. We have a very interesting podcast for you infrared sauna junkies today. Uh, I talk a lot about infrared saunas and advocate their use with all of my clients that I work with personally. And I think they're a very, very important aspect of health and longevity and increasing energy and have detoxification benefits. So today we're going to be talking with Justin Strahan. He is a, a maker of Juve near infrared and red LED panels. And Juve is spelled J O O O V V dot com. And so we're going to be talking about the, the benefits of photobiomodulation with light therapy with the near infrared and red LED lights that he makes and the benefits of those in stimulating mitochondria and energy production and the differences between those and the effects of near infrared saunas like the far and near infrared saunas that people typically use for detoxification. I personally have been using a, a Juve near infrared and red LED combo light. Um, I'm using it uh, separately from my son. I still do my uh, my infrared sauna sessions, but I also have added uh, doing about 20 minutes per day of the near infrared and red LED photobiomodulation. I've seen tremendous benefits in uh, my skin and, and other types of benefits, a boost in energy. And so I wanted to talk to, to Justin, uh, the maker of the Juve products, and so that you can enjoy the health benefits as well of this revolutionary technology. Please go check out my book, Limitless Energy on Amazon. I wanted to write this book to tell you about different ways that you can increase your energy levels that you may not be thinking about and certainly answers that you are not going to get at your functional or even medical doctor. And so many people don't realize that why they're tired and toxins and chemicals are a big reason why specifically certain toxic metals that interfere in your mitochondria's ability to function. Your mitochondria make your body's energy and I teach you about what metals are interfering in your energy production and how to detox them and you know expel them from your body. I also talk about a revolutionary way to improve your energy through bioenergetics in the last chapter of the book. So a lot of revolutionary ways to increase your energy levels and get limitless energy for life. So go check out my book on Amazon, Limitless Energy, How to Detox Toxic Metals to End Exhaustion and Chronic Fatigue. Our guest today is Justin Straham. He's not just any man because he can take his wife's dream and make it a reality. And this is just one of the reasons why Justin is so special. Intuitive and thorough, Justin's affinity for process and extreme attention to detail is why Juve is lucky to have him as head of R&D. Prior to inventing and developing the Juve Light, he spent his career as an engineer managing design and development teams. Justin considers himself blessed to share life with his high school sweetheart Melissa and their six children. Together they share the same passion for bringing health and wellness to the world. And fun fact, Justin can play drums and trumpet like nobody's business. <laughs> you can learn more about Justin at juve.com, J-O-O-V-V.com. Justin, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you so much, Wendy. It's an excellent opportunity. So why don't you tell us, you know, how you got into making near infrared and red LED products? Sure. Uh, my wife, Melissa, was really the one that first came across the technology. Uh, she had heard about it and uh, went to try it at a local uh, tanning salon that had uh, beds that had been converted to uh, red, light, red light bulbs. And uh, so she signed up for a series of sessions where she could go daily for a period of a few months. And she was quite honestly uh, blown away by the results that she had. Uh, she had struggled with some eczema issues uh, on different areas of her body. And, and uh, so she had uh, just excellent results where basically totally cleared that up in a period of uh, around two months. Uh, she also started to notice improvements in uh, stretch marks and other areas on her bodies and just overall health and uh, glow of her skin. So uh, she really fell in love with the technology and uh, signed up for another uh, few months of sessions. Um, but uh, as those wrapped up, she really 
uh, was desperate to find another uh, solution as it became increasingly difficult to fit that into her daily schedule, not to mention the cost of, of the treatment. So uh, she really started to scour the market to try to find something that she could use at home that would uh, you know, fit much easier into her, her daily routine. And so, so you set out to make one for her, which is, uh, I love that story. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fascinating. I, I have to admit, I was uh, first uh, skeptical of the technology to begin with. And uh, then as she asked for my assistance in, in developing one, I, uh, looking in hindsight, I, I should have been much more uh, kind to her and, and eager to, <laughs> to, to launch into uh, discovering the kind of learning more about the technology. But uh, so first she kind of dug into it. She had seen some kind of homemade devices uh, that used uh, infrared heat lamps. And uh, so she wanted me to try to make one of these devices. And so I'd uh, you know, having engineering background, uh, it wasn't something that was too daunting for me to, to tackle. So I read about it and basically kind of just followed the directions and built a device using these infrared heat lamps. And uh, so after trying that uh, for a little while, uh, besides producing a lot of heat, she didn't really feel like they were producing the same types of benefits that she'd had uh, with kind of specific wavelengths uh, previously. So she came back and is like, you know, I, I'm not sure what it is, but I, I, I want you to really dig into this because I know if I if you dig into this with your engineering mind, you're going to you're going to really get to the bottom of this and we can get a device that you know works really well. So um, I started to dig into the science and quite honestly, I was blown away by the sheer amount of studies uh, on the topic of photobiomodulation. And it was uh, fascinating to me just the wide range of health benefits that had been uh, documented. And it went far beyond just skin benefits. I mean, it was everything from muscle recovery, reducing soreness in joints, reducing inflammation. Uh, it was almost seemingly endless. So um, in the studies, uh, it was clear to me there was really just two main factors that determine uh, the effectiveness of a device, uh, the intensity or irradiance, uh, and then the wavelengths, of course. And then I guess a third factor you could uh, that's important as well is the just basically the size of the treatment area. So how big of an area of your body are you able to treat? So those are the things that really uh, got us started. And that's what I really kind of launched off into uh, trying to develop a device that uh, would be uh, feasible and convenient to use at home and add to uh, anyone's daily routine. And so let's talk about uh, the products that you make. So you uh, and you, I I'm using one at home. And uh, when I was visiting Joe Mercola's house, I was visiting him last month in Florida. He uses a Juve uh, near and near infrared and red LED combo product uh, mm -hmm. that you make as well. And so, you know, you can't get a better, uh, you know, testimonial than that, <laughs> that Joe Mercola is using one every day. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and so, so how does this all work? So you created a near infrared LED panel and you also have a, a red light LED panel and you also make a combo product. So let's talk about a little bit of the, the differences between those like three products. Sure. Um, I guess kind of backing up into the uh, light wavelengths in general, in sunlight, you obviously have a wide spectrum of wavelengths, uh, beginning in the below, below 400 nanometer range with the UV light, uh, going into the visible light spectrum between 400 and 700 nanometers, and then on into the near and far infrared wavelengths beyond. Uh, the infrared wavelengths are typically broken up into three components, uh, IRA, which is roughly between 700 nanometers and 1300 nanometers, uh, IRB, which is 1300 to 3000 nanometers, and then IRC, which is above 1300 or above 3000 nanometers. And they, those different wavelengths have uh, very different uh, biological impacts on our bodies. Um, what scientists have found is there's something called the uh, near-infrared window or optical window uh, where these wavelengths have the unique ability to penetrate into our tissues. So uh, roughly between 600 and 900 nanometers, we have uh, wavelengths that are, are very effective at, at uh, penetrating our tissues. So uh, interestingly, uh, wavelengths below 600 nanometers tend to be absorbed uh, quite quickly by due to the blood that's in our tissues. And wavelengths that are longer than 900 nanometers tend to be absorbed more quickly by uh, the upper tissues of our skin due to the moisture that's in our tissues. So uh, the example I like to, to give uh, this picture is to demonstrate if you're outside on a very hot day, such as uh, some that we experienced while in Austin here this past weekend, and the sun is very intense, 
And as you feel that radiant heat from the sun, what you're actually feeling is, are those mid and far infrared wavelengths. And when a cloud blows over and, and blocks, blocks the sun, you notice that the, the light or the visible uh, intensity of the light outside doesn't change drastically, but you do feel a drastic difference in the radiant uh, far infrared heat. And it's almost like a light switch went off, and all of a sudden you don't have that that intense heat uh, on your skin. So and then, then you get depressed. <laughs> you get very sad. <laughs> and you wait for it to come back. <laughs> so so that's kind of uh, an overall picture. So what we sought to do is uh, really go after the science uh, and research studies that demonstrate which wavelengths in that window are the most effective. And in the field of photobiomodulation, one of the main theories on to uh, how these wavelengths work and what they do to stimulate uh, cellular function or mitochondrial function really boil down to the fourth phase of cellular respiration, um, which is cytochrome C oxidase or CCO. And what they've discovered is that there are a few different peaks that are the most that demonstrate which wavelengths are the most effective at boosting uh, CCO or this mito which result in increased uh, cellular function. And specifically, uh, wavelengths around the 600 to 660 to 670 nanometers in the red spectrum are very effective, as well as wavelengths between roughly 800 and 880 nanometers. So those are why we chose those two different wavelengths. Yes, and so um, when you're a lot of you know people when they think of infrared saunas. Uh, you know, they typically automatically think of like a near infrared sauna, and mm -hmm. then you have the near, uh, they, they think of like a far infrared sauna, like the wooden mm -hmm. sauna with the, the panels and that heat you up. And then there's the near infrared bulbs. So there's mm -hmm. a near infrared bulb incandescent, uh, incandescent lamps that you talked about before. So yep. let's talk about the difference between those and uh, the, the near infrared LED and red light LED combo uh, that Juve produces and sure. what the differences there. Yeah, it's a great question. I think there's a lot of confusion, quite honestly, in the marketplace about uh, about that. I think when most people hear the term infrared, and to them that means like either a single wavelength or a very narrow band of wavelengths, when in reality, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a quite broad uh, range of wavelengths. Uh, so wavelengths that are optimal for producing heat, uh, such as used as in, in saunas, uh, really the longer wavelengths are more effective at producing that radiant heat, kind of as I gave that example of sunlight. Uh, whereas the wavelengths that, that we use in our uh, Juve combo or Juve near-infrared light devices at 850 nanometers are actually uh, not too far beyond the visible light spectrum. And the main difference with these wavelengths is because they fall in that optical window and because they are the optimal wavelength to boost uh, cytochrome C oxidase production, uh, that's why they are effective at photobiomodulation. With uh, near-infrared heat lamps, for example, uh, the bulk of the energy that they deliver is outside of those wavelengths. Uh, you really have a very small portion that's uh, optimal for photobiomodulation, uh, roughly in the neighborhood of 2 to 4%. So while they have benefits uh, related to the heat-inducing uh, component, uh, as, as saunas are intended to, uh, they really aren't effective in terms of boosting cellular function in the same way that photobiomodulation uh, devices that, that use sp these specific wavelengths. Because the, the actual near-infrared lamps is kind of what they're referred to. They're actually mostly far-infrared wavelengths, correct? Yes, uh, a wide, uh, a good portion of the energy is in the far and, and mid uh, infrared uh, wavelength. So while there certainly is some, uh, because it's not a focused on on specific wavelengths, uh, it's not really enough to be to produce a biologically significant amount. Yeah. So when people and I've used those lamps for years, and that's when I, mm -hmm. I started out with. And um, so the lamps really, the purpose of them is really to heat you up. It's not really, and that's going to produce the detox effect. You're really not mm -hmm. getting a tremendous amount of benefit in mitochondrial stimulation and energy production with those types of lamps. And there's also a problem with the intensity. Um, mm -hmm. It's not just the wavelength, it's the intensity, and they're really kind of a low-intensity bulb. 
Yes, uh, surprisingly so, given the amount of heat that they that they produce, uh, which is why the the most uh, effective photobiomodulation devices, uh, you know, originally before the advent of uh, LEDs uh, really came upon the scene, uh, lasers were used. Uh, but now that LEDs are uh, have been proven to be just as effective um, and can use can and can be used over a much larger treatment area, uh, the most effective devices really have gone to. Uh, medical grade LEDs that deliver a high intensity, a high amount of irradiance. And so when you're looking at buying a near infrared product for detox or the various benefits that near infrared provides, you really mm -hmm. want to look for the right wavelengths, uh, that there's effective radiance, like there's an intensity there. And there's also a, a large treatment area can be treated because I know there's a lot of things on the market. You get a little like on Amazon, you get these little things, but they're very small <laughs> and you can only right. do one little area at a time. And, you know, I'll pass on that. Right. So, um, so you behind you, you have the the combo max product, the yes. Juve combo max. Can you turn that on for us so we sure. can kind of see what that looks like? It's very intense. <laughs> It is very bright, so I apologize in yeah, advance. Yeah, very, very nice. So, I, I've been using mine. I use it for 20 minutes a day, and I've had just an unbelievable improvement in my skin. I had some little rashes and stuff, uh, maybe mm -hmm. TMI, but uh, though it, those <laughs> cleared up and uh, really, really happy with the improvements I have in my skin. I've had a boost in energy as well because the light stimulates uh, mitochondrial production. Mitochondria work yeah. by light. That's why the sunlight uh, gives us a boost because that's you know part of the ways our mitochondria works to produce energy. And so, so that obviously is gonna uh, affect a large treatment area mm -hmm. and much more uh, productive for, for your time. Yes, and that's really what my wife kind of came when she was uh, came to find when she was scouring the market. Uh, most of the devices were small handheld devices that, you know, it would take a significant amount of time to treat your whole just your face, let alone you know the rest of your body. So uh, that's that's really what what kind of started us down this path. And uh, as you mentioned, with this device, you know, you're able to treat you know virtually one whole side of your body at a time. Uh, we do have uh, different size devices as well. So this is our largest, what we call our Juve Max. And then we have a Juve Mini that is essentially two of these panels, mm -hmm. as well as a Juve Original that's five of those panels. So uh, we do have some some options, um, but uh, ideally it's something that you can treat your whole body with. Uh, so what what I think most people don't realize, and what I certainly didn't realize, was the incredible role that light plays in overall health. Mm -hmm. and, and as you mentioned, uh, the the energy boost that you feel. I mean, we we. Uh, we hear that a lot uh, from from our customers. Uh, in fact, you know, some people I know are, are really love to dig into the science. And if you go to our website into the Learn tab, you'll see uh, many different articles that link to uh, published medical uh, studies, uh, research studies on various topics. Um, but if that's not your cup of tea, we also have a section on reviews where you can read uh, what our customers are saying in their own words about their experiences. And, and quite honestly, that might be the more impressive uh, uh, thing to look at. So uh, it's something we've, we've had an overwhelming response. I think uh, I, was, I was just telling another co-founder, uh, Scott, the other day that uh, I, you know, I think our devices work way better than we ever anticipated they would. Uh, primarily because they're more intense than uh, most other devices on the market and even a lot of the, the published studies. Uh, to give you an example, uh, many of the studies for skin health uh, show a total energy delivered of about five joules. And with our devices, you would be able to get that in uh, less than two minutes or actually less than a minute at about uh, eight inches away from this device behind me. And uh, for larger uh, or for other benefits such as deeper tissue, such as muscle recovery, uh, it takes a significantly higher amount of energy. So there's one study, for example, that was done on collegiate athletes uh, over a 15-month uh, period of time, nearly 400 uh, collegiate athletes, and they were basically documented every time that an athlete got injured and was basically couldn't be on the playing field, uh, they divided them into two camps, one that you know received the photobiomodulation therapy and one that did not. In this specific study, they were uh, using the near infrared wavelengths uh, in that same window that I talked about. And when they were given the treatment, they were given 60 joules of energy. So with this device behind me, that would take 10 minutes of treatment. So the same amount that you were getting. And the study was was pretty impressive. Uh, 
the, the students that did not receive the treatment, the average time to, to getting back on the playing field was uh, just under 20 days, or essentially 20 days before they were back on the playing field. And for the athletes that did use the treatment, uh, the average time was cut in half in under 10 days. So that's a, a you know one of just many different studies that uh, prove some of the benefits of uh, red and near infrared light and how that can affect uh, athletic performance, recovery, uh, and with just there's just such a wide range of benefits. It's when you start to explain it to people, it almost sounds like it's too good to be true. Uh, but there's literally documented uh, research studies to uh, to point people to. So it's uh, it's pretty amazing. And so, what are some of the other benefits? So there's skin health. Uh, there's enhanced muscle recovery. You know, what are some of the other benefits of using a, a Juve uh, LED? Sure. And, you know, there's a lot of them that are documented that I would I would I would say these things would be uh, similar to the tip of the iceberg. So they're the things that come to the surface that you're aware of that you see a, a difference. Um, but I think you know all of us have, have attended growing up in a society where uh, we we were basically taught you have an issue, then you treat uh, that symptom, and then then you move on, and then you have another symptom comes up, and you try to treat that symptom. And what I really try to encourage people to think of is, you know, try to think deeper than that. And that with uh, with our devices and photobiomodulation, you're really actually uh, feeding your cells the energy that they need uh, to to act at a at a higher rate or optimum level. So um, while there's many different things that studies document, uh, as you mentioned, some of them, um, you know, the, I think we're just scratching the surface in terms of the short and long term health benefits uh, of of giving your your cells adequate light. Um, you, know, you mentioned muscle recovery, uh, pain, inflammation. Um, there's even documented studies on uh, cognitive benefits, um, eye health benefits, uh, or basically with your eyes. A common question we get is like, well, do I should I, you know, shield my eyes? It seems really bright, and it is bright. Um, but uh, I usually encourage people to start with their eyes closed and then gradually open them as they feel comfortable. Uh, but there absolutely are uh, documented studies. Uh, of eye health benefits, basically boosting uh, retinal function through the same uh, mechanism of action with uh, mitochondria, and uh, the 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 results that people are getting with that, and, and we've had some of our own customers that that tell us that their their prescriptions are uh, changing or getting better for the first time uh, in in years. So it's it's definitely interesting the different uh, range of benefits that people experience, and also increased testosterone is another potential yes. one. Yes, interestingly, that's uh, uh, probably one of the first ones that uh, that it really uh, kind of surprised us. Quite honestly, uh, when we first launched the product, uh, we really anticipated the bulk of our uh, our customers to be looking for skin health and and uh, various beauty benefits because uh, we, that's kind of the typical space where you see red light therapy is in, in salons and spas and so forth. Uh, but there's we've had an overwhelming response from. Uh, the biohacking community, uh, the fitness community, even professional athletes uh, for, you know, all these other benefits. As you mentioned, uh, testosterone is, is another one that's, uh, you know, been started, uh, had some initial uh, research studies that are that are quite promising. And even in enhanced weight loss, uh, that's another benefit as well, correct? Yes, uh, there have been some impressive studies and, you know, it's, it's they're preliminary, so I don't want to, you know, make it sound like there's a uh, a uh, hundred studies that are double-blind placebo studies on weight loss, but there are, there are some studies that are that are pretty impressive and and the results that that people are getting with those. Yeah, I think just by increasing your energy levels and the efficiency of how your mitochondria and your metabolism work, uh, there could be some some byproduct of enhanced weight loss. Not that you're going to be shedding pounds, uh, right. Using the juve, but uh, there are some like side effects and that carry over into weight loss. And let's talk about specifically about energy production, Mm -hmm. because that I think is the most uh, profound benefit that you can get by using a juve near infrared and red LED combo light. So talk to us about that a bit. Sure. Um, You know, the way that I I like to explain it is it's you're literally providing food directly to your cells. And it's a way it's it's something almost more direct even than food. And I'm certainly not uh, saying it's a substitute for that. But it's I would say I would argue that it's of equal importance or or nearly equal importance. And uh, that is a common thing that, that people experience is increased energy. Um, uh, common common responses for people that try it in, in the evening is, you know, they've had a, a stressful day, they're all they're they're worn out, um, and they're you know kind of on edge and uh, stressed out. And the uh, the treatment uh, they find it very calming, relaxing, 
Um, and I think there's a lot of different uh, components there. The cognitive benefits that have been documented, um, the uh, the physical benefits uh, as far as increasing blood flow and, and reducing oxidative stress. Uh, so there's there's definitely uh, a lot of reasons why that why that lines up with the research studies. And so and so let's go back to detoxification and in, mm -hmm. in infrared saunas. So a far infrared sauna, tremendous and near infrared sauna suit. Lots and lots of research that show that the heat from those those types of saunas detox our bodies. And mm -hmm. that mechanism is primarily done through heat, but also increasing the amount of easy water that we have in our cells at the fourth phase of water it increases that type of water so that mm -hmm. and that dramatically enhances detoxification effects. So sure. talk to us about does a juve near infrared and red LED detox your body and therefore replace a far infrared or near infrared type sauna, or is it something that you want to use in conjunction? I would argue that both uh, therapies have, have their place and there is proven benefits. As you mentioned, with the heat-based therapy, uh, you do have some, some documented studies on, on the detoxification benefits, as well as uh, some of the cardiovascular benefits uh, that can assist with that. Um, as you mentioned, uh, the fourth phase of water, which, by the way, I love Gerald Pollack's book uh, with, by that title. And it's certainly a fascinating topic of how the incredible role that water plays in this whole process. Uh, and, and he certainly talks about light and specific wavelengths and how they, they uh, help uh, basically help the water form easy water in our cells uh, as they uh, are essentially charged. And so you basically have this electrochemical process of our cells and the mitochondrial function uh, that light essentially boosts. Uh, so there absolutely is documentation uh, that the wavelengths that we use uh, assist in that process. So um, I don't think there's uh, conclusive uh, proof as far as some of the differentiating factors uh, to compare the two. So I would just say, you know, if you have a sauna and, and you enjoy using it, uh, absolutely keep using it and enjoy it. And I think photobiomodulation is something you should uh, consider, consider adding as well. Yeah, that's the recommendation I've been making for clients is to use either a far infrared sauna or a near infrared sauna. I recommend sunlight and saunas, and then I also recommend um, a sauna space, near infrared bulb saunas. But mm -hmm. adding a juve uh, panel uh, for the near and red, near infrared and red LED lights to have you know a complementary and you know different type of effect that you're not getting with uh you know the the benefits like you aren't liking the intensity of the near infrared and you're not getting any red um led benefits so it's great to add the juve panel to either one of those saunas if you already have one yeah i totally agree yeah because you're going to get the the enhance the detox effects from the heat from the far mm -hmm. the near infrared saunas but you want that intensity of the near infrared and red leds to for the photobiomodulation benefits Exactly. And because the amount of the like near infrared heat lamps, for example, the amount of wavelengths that are that are in the optimal uh, zone for photobiomodulation, uh, because you do have so much heat that's delivered along with those, um, you would actually really overheat the tissue by trying to do, uh, you know, photobiomodulation or get enough wave, uh, enough intensity uh, with the correct wavelengths uh, that you'd kind of be counterproductive. So uh, for that reason, uh, you're really best, best served by having a, a separate device that's mm -hmm. specifically geared towards that benefit. Okay, great. Yeah, and so, uh, so let's talk a little bit about... Um, uh, some of the issues with saunas that claim to offer near, mid, and far infrared wavelengths. So a lot of people think, oh, wow, that sounds great. I'm getting like all the different wavelengths. So mm. talk to us a little bit about those claims. Sure. I think the important thing to remember is that the purpose of saunas is to generate heat. Uh, you know, the traditional saunas, we did a, an article on our website here a few weeks back. Uh, we talk about kind of the history of saunas in Finland. Um, and this is, you know, something that's really come to the to the U.S. Uh, over the past few decades, and, and it's really taken off, and particularly with infrared saunas, as you mentioned. Uh, but being that the purpose of saunas is to create generate heat, uh, really the optimum wavelengths that do that the most effectively are in the far infrared spectrum or or above 3,000 nanometers. Now, there's certainly other ways that you can generate heat uh, with the mid and even some of the near infrared wavelengths. Um, but uh, the kind of I guess marketing the centers around uh, delivering this wide bandwidth of wavelengths um, 
really isn't supported by the science of what the benefits from saunas really come from. Yeah, and so some of these the saunas that claim to have near mid and far infrared, they might have a, a bulb or something in the ceiling for the near mm -hmm. infrared or a few little lights, but maybe not really doing much. <laughs> yeah, the, those wavelengths, uh, while they're certainly a part of the sunlight spectrum, uh, they are not going to produce a whole lot of heat. And unless they are at the specific wavelengths for photobiomodulation, they're really going to have uh, almost zero effect for that as well. So mm -hmm. I would argue that uh, you're best served if you're in the market for a sauna to uh, to get one that, that uh, is really focuses on the heat that's generated, and that's going to be best served with uh, longer wavelengths. Yeah, and so I used a near infrared incandescent bulb sauna for a number of years, and mm -hmm. the problem I had, I had like three bulbs in hanging from my shower head, and uh, I kind of had a little rig set up that way. Yeah. And the problem was I wasn't sweating, like I I wasn't mm. getting enough heat. And so a lot of people listening may have a little setup like that. And the the whole point is to get the heat uh, adequate enough so that you're sweating and enjoying those detox benefits. Absolutely. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about um, some of the, the clients that you have. So tell us about some of the athletes or some of the other clients that are, are using a Juve uh, near infrared and red LED product. Sure. Well, as I mentioned previously, we have a wide range uh, of people that use our products. You mentioned uh, Dr. Mercola, uh, and we've had uh, you know a wide range of people. Uh, we have MMA fighters, people that are uh, fight with the UFC, uh, Jeremy Stevens, TJ Dillashaw. Uh, we also have some other professional athletes uh, in Major League Baseball. Uh, we've actually been in discussion with uh, uh, some M NBA trainers that are interested in the technology as well. Uh, and we'll have uh, shortly coming here, we have a pretty cool announcement uh, for an NFL player that's uh, partnering with us as well. Oh, that's right. And Ben Greenfield, he uses Not to mention Ben Greenfield. Ben Greenfield. Uh, there is, uh, yeah, there's, there's so many people that, that are excited about it. We've uh, actually just finished recording a podcast down in Austin, Texas with Aubrey Marcus of On It. And uh, he has actually a couple of our devices and uh, is absolutely the, uh, loving the therapy for sure. Fantastic. Yeah. And um, so let's talk about some tips on how to use the, the Juve uh, products. So mm -hmm. um, when I use mine. I do about 10 minutes on one side and do a little rotisserie chicken and, you yeah. know, turn over and do 10 minutes on the other side. Are there any tip, other tips that you can give us when using the, the product? Sure. Well, there's uh, I guess there's a lot of ways you can you can use the therapy. As I mentioned, there's benefits from uh, small dosages, uh, particularly for skin health benefits. But uh, I do encourage people if they want the best uh, overall optimum health benefits or is, that include deep tissue, uh, you know, doing that uh, around that 10 minute window, uh, 10 minute time frame uh, for each area is, is really what I would recommend. That's what I personally do. Um, so I think to see the best results, I think that's that's where I would start. Um, you know, the distance from the light affects uh, affects the intensity as well. So if you're three feet away, you're going to get a much lower dosage, obviously, than if you're right up next to the device. So it's really intended to be treated uh, between uh, six to 12 inches away from away from the device. Um, as I'm sure you can attest to, it's uh, not a very intense heat. Uh, it's pretty much just like a gentle warmth that you can you can feel a little bit of warmth in the device. Uh, and you have uh, the fans on the back of the device that keep the LEDs cool, so they are working uh, optimally. And so, uh, so when you're using the device, and so is it penetrating your tissues, uh, like say um, an infrared sauna? We know that infrared rays penetrate inside of our tissues. Mm -hmm. um, so how how does that work? Is it penetrating our tissues, and do you know how much? Sure. Uh, yes, they absolutely are. Uh, and you can feel this, uh, particularly with the wavelengths that we use. I mentioned that near infrared window and uh, these wavelengths uh, in this range are actually quite effective at, at penetrating human tissue. Um, the absorption, uh, it gets rather complicated when you start talking about the science of absorption. Uh, you look at the scale and it's a, like a logarithmic scale. So you go up one and it's 10 times the absorption and so forth. Uh, but I would just say that uh, the overwhelming evidence is that uh, red and near infrared in particular are very effective at, at uh, penetrating human tissue, even including bone. Okay. And so, but you want to do both sides, correct? You want to do yes. one side yes. and do the other side. And yep. how often would you recommend someone do it? Can they overdo it? Sure. I, you know, I would, I would argue that uh, I have yet to see a study that shows uh, that you can overdo it. That's uh, that demonstrates that you know, you're going to have negative effects if you go, uh, go too far. 
Um, you know, there's some there's some thoughts out there that if you if you get too much, you're gonna uh, you know either level off or maybe even have negative effects. But I would argue with studies that are that show benefits up to over a hundred joules of energy uh, documents that you know there can be benefits even with very high dosages. Uh, so I would t- typically recommend that people do a, a treatment daily. Uh, although I, I will say that there's times where you may want to do more than once a day. So for example, if you have an injury or something where, uh, you find that the uh, tissue, uh, is inflamed, you might want to do a treatment uh, more than once a day just to help with the inflammation and help that healing process. And so should you avoid doing it in the evening because it does stimulate your mitochondria to give you energy? And this is of course using the the combo product where you have the near infrared Mm -hmm. and, red LED lights. So should you avoid doing it at night or what are your thoughts on that? You know, there's there's a couple different thoughts there. I would say um, really any time other than maybe first thing in the morning, I think you're going to get, you'd be happy with the results. Uh, uh, you know, sunlight is a very powerful, uh, a powerful thing that, that our bodies need. So, and I think particularly through our eyes, if optimally uh, get sunlight uh, early in the morning uh, to help cer- set your circadian rhythms. Uh, but with the uh, photobiomodulation, it's really something that your cells can utilize and have benefits uh, throughout the day. Uh, Quite honestly, many people find it very relaxing, and myself included, uh, to do the treatment in the evening or or even right before bed. Uh, It uh, can just about feel like it just knocks you out because it it helps just calm yourself and and reduce the stress. Um, So I I encourage people to kind of basically experiment with that that a little bit um, and see what works best for them. Yeah, yeah, people are very different in how they react to things. And just like with infrared saunas, I've had clients say it stimulates them a lot and other people say mm-hmm. that it relaxes them. So everyone's a little bit different, I think, in the timing that they should do uh, these types of treatments. Right. And so let's talk about any contraindications. So sure. the first thing people would probably think is, should I protect my eyes? You kind of addressed mm-hmm. that earlier. But are there any contraindications that you found in using near-infrared or red LEDs? Sure. Well, there are rare, are rare cases where people have, uh, say, photoreceptive medication that they're on. That would be something that you'd obviously want to be careful with and discuss with your physician. Um, there are some uh, rare cases of people that have uh, uh, pigmentation issues, and there's some conflicting evidence on how photobiomodulation affects those issues. Uh, you know, some seem to indicate that it can help with it, and others, uh, in other cases, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem to be as effective. Uh, but overall, there there really have uh, there's very uh, little documented evidence of uh, contraindications uh, with photobiomodulation. Okay, great. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about, um, uh, so is there anything else perhaps that you haven't uh, talked about that you wanted to mention? You know, I think we've touched on a lot of the topics. It's something I could ramble on for a long time because it's um, something it's something I'm so passionate about. And there's, you know, so many people that I think can, can benefit from the technology. Um, you know, I would encourage people to check out our website if you're if you're curious and want to learn more. Uh, another thing I'd like to highlight is that we do offer a 60 day uh, trial. So if you if you purchase a product, uh, we have a 60 day return policy. Uh, so if you're not happy with it for for whatever reason, uh, you can return it for a full refund. So quite honestly, it's something that gets uh, taken advantage of very rarely, but it kind of offers that peace of mind for especially for people that are uh, maybe not to- completely sold on the technology, but they're excited about uh, kind of giving it a shot. Well, I have one more question. So uh, there's a question I've gotten a lot when I'm in, you know, answering questions on social media and whatnot. So sure. you sell a near infrared LED, a red LED product, and then a combo near and red LED product. So why would someone want to buy the LEDs separately or just do the combo product? It makes sense to me like to just do the combo product. Yes. <laughs> so you get both. They're- Yes. Uh, to explain the differences, uh, studies uh, seem to in- indicate that the red wavelengths in the 660 nanometer uh, range are very beneficial for uh, skin health benefits, um, and primarily because those wavelengths are absorbed more easily or more quickly by the upper skin tissue. So, with whereas with the near infrared wavelengths, those tend to penetrate more easily to deep tissue. So, uh, for benefits such as the muscle recovery or soreness, such as the uh, uh, study I previously uh, referenced with the collegiate athletes, uh, they find that near infrared is, is more effective at that. So, uh, most of our customers have some interest in both of those benefits. Uh, So for that reason, our combination device is easily our most popular. Okay, great. Yeah, just for anyone uh, purchasing, just be aware that uh, you have like three different options there. 
Okay. And so I have a question I like to ask all of my guests. What do you think is the most pressing health issue in the world today? You know, I think the most pressing health issue today is that we've become so disconnected from the way uh, we were meant to live in this world, uh, namely being connected to the earth uh, by basically being grounded, being uh, plugged into the sun as a natural uh, uh, charger, if you will, for our bodies. And uh, so I think getting back to that is something that, that we can all benefit from. And that's where I really see photobiomodulation as something that can uh, benefit so many people because... Uh, you know, if you can spend, you know, several hours a, a day in the sun, uh, more power to you. But many of us are, you know, so busy that it becomes difficult to do that. So I think that's where uh, what we offer is, is, is it an important way for people to uh, kind of supplement what they get from natural sunlight? Yeah, it seems like the product would be great for people that suffer from seasonal affective disorder and depression where they're just not getting any sunlight because the sunlight emits a lot of near infrared rays and the, the juve can help supplement that when you can't get that. Yes. In fact, if you read through some of our reviews, you'll you'll see some people that uh, that highlight that uh, that benefit. And uh, uh, so that's that's something that has been documented. And, and uh, as you mentioned, it t totally makes sense as the sun does obviously contain a significant amount of uh, infrared uh, wavelengths and, of course, red. Yes. Well, Justin, thank you so much for coming on the show. I, I really appreciate it. I know our listeners are really, really hungry for this information because Everyone listen, they love infrared saunas, or if they don't have one, they want to get one and use one, because I've talked so much on the podcast about the benefits. Uh, and so you've added a whole nother spectrum of, of things that you can do when it comes to using infrared and photobiomodulation and adding that to your health regime. Well, excellent. I appreciate the opportunity, and uh, we uh, look forward to helping your listeners if they have any questions afterwards. And so tell us where you can, or where we can find your products. Sure. Our website is juve.com. That's J-O-O-V-V.com. And uh, you can purchase our devices right there. Uh, we have, as I mentioned, a learn tab as well as a reviews tab. Uh, so it's, it's a great way to learn about the technology. That's really been a, a key focus of our uh, approach is to really bring uh, critical uh, thinking and information that, that adequately describes the, the science and technology of photobiomodulation. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you so much for listening to the Live to 110 podcast. You can learn more about me at live to 110.com. You can learn more about my detox and energy rejuvenating program at mineral power.com. Please keep in mind this podcast is not intended to diagnose or treat any disease or health condition and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only, so please consult your healthcare practitioner before engaging in anything that we suggest today on the show. And if you like what you heard, please give a review in iTunes. It helps more people find me. We enjoy 100,000 listeners per month. And I'm so, so thankful to everyone that's uh, been listening over the last four years. And we got four more years to go. Um, I really enjoy recording the podcast and talking to experts um, in the field of health uh, every week. It's just really enjoyable. And I love uh, teaching you guys more about how to upgrade your life. Thank you so much for listening to the Live to 100. 110 podcast.